Mr. Bhattis Manalov is welcome to Jerusalem. Marfa? Marfa! Where are you? Oh, hello. Goodness, there are a lot of people in Jerusalem today. But that's hardly surprising, is it? Have you seen my sister? I'm sorry, I'm just getting ahead of myself. My name is Mary. I live just down the road in Bethany. I live with my brother Lazarus and my sister Martha, who is here somewhere. Maybe you've seen her. She'd be the one with a packed lunch and a pile of palm leaves, all organized in size and color. That's my sister. She left early to see the procession. What procession, you ask? Oh, you would have known that you'd be visiting Jerusalem today, or you would have known that Jesus is coming. Do you know Jesus? He's... How do I describe this? A master, a teacher, or even a friend. I could sit and listen to him for hours. Sometimes I do, which, between you and me, really annoys my sister. But how could I not? He's so much more than just an ordinary teacher. Why? He made the blind to see and the lame to walk. Have you heard of what he has done to my brother Lazarus? Lazarus was sick, so sick. So Martha and I sent words to Jesus. After all, he healed thousands and thousands of people he didn't even know. So we knew that Jesus would come running to us to heal our brother, except he didn't. He didn't come. He didn't write. It was like he was ignoring us. And Lazarus died. What I knew now that I didn't know then was that when Jesus looks like he's doing nothing, he is really up to something. Well, Jesus came three days after Lazarus had been dead and buried. He asked us to take him to Lazarus' tomb. So we did. He asked us to roll the stone and we were horrified. You know how hot it gets here, right? Did I mention three days? You know, when Jesus tells you to do something, it's really better to just do it. So we did. We rolled the stone away and Jesus called my brother's name. 